Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mason Races. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome to another installment of the Talos Principle. Thank you guys for all the support on this, and please enjoy. Maybe like this? Is this one in here? No, because I would cross the streams again. I'm thinking it's where you put the things at. Oh, I know how to do it. No, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, shit. No, I don't. God damn it. I'm pretty sure you have to use this space bind here. But I think it's just the placement of where you put the, the, uh, these things, the connectors. Huh. Okay. Wait a second. Was that right all along? No, it wasn't. Okay, so this one has to connect with this one. This one has to connect with that one. Or one can connect to three. Let's do one, this one. Connect with this one. That one. And that one. Put that there. This one connects to that one. This one. Oh wait, sorry. This one connects to that one. And that one. Shit, no. The red and the blue ones cannot be connected in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so. Let's take this one up. Alright. If only I had three. If I had three, this would be so easy, but it's not. We don't have three, so it's not so easy. Okay. The reds have to be connected to the red, and the blues have to be connected to the blue. That's how it is. It's like this. <laughs> yep, here we are. <laughs> yeah, right here. Oh yeah, baby! That's how it's done, son! Alright, no one was actually pretty easy, I was just making it too hard. Alright, so to find the last shape... Okay. See, we have two distributors. And we have two connectors, but we can't connect them. But we can't have them touch each other, so... Alright, so take you, put you here, just to get the lines out of the way so it'll be cleaner looking. Alright. What's that? Okay, never mind. Blue has to connect to that. Oh, this one's easy, actually. Well, maybe not so much. Yeah, it is. It's the elevation. Elevation! 
Why does all the, why do all these have their heads cut off? By the way, this is what I want to know. Like, I cannot see a human face, or I will turn to the dark side. Huh. Okay. I can keep going further up this way. So. I just keep wondering if one of the resting places of the messengers is around here. Or are these stupid places completely pointless? Like these little areas around the sides already been here. What was that? Oh, it's just a red building. Alright. Brick building, sorry. Huh, there's gotta be more here. I'm probably missing so much right now, it's just ridiculous. Like everybody's pissed off at me because I'm just missing so much. I'm trying my best, guys. I'm getting the puzzles okay. And that's the only thing I've seen so far here. Alright, maybe... Is there more? Yes. Hmm. Well, I wonder what I can do with this account. Due to outstanding notes on your account and despite displaying in any of the characteristics of a, being a person, you cannot be granted you cannot be a granted status at this time. In the meantime, please enjoy the basic account functionalities. I need this characteristics of being a person. Hmm. But I am a person. Am I? That didn't happen. You may already be criticizing your own perf per performance, but it's clear you understand how the world of ideas affects you. Even if you are sometimes wary with the realities and allow your preferences to dictate your beliefs, you have a great deal of unused capacity which you have not turned to your advantage. Disciplined and self-controlled outside, you tend to be worrisome and insecure inside. But you pride yourself as an independent thinker and do not accept others. Statements without satisfactory. Guys, it just described me. It knows me. It knows me. What's my name? I'm just joking. Basic. You're currently on a basic account. Support ticket. I'm sorry, I wasn't better at be able to assist you. If you're still encountering a problem, please describe it. Uh, our account certification error. Thank you. I support ticket is being generated and appended to your profile. You will receive a notification when a reply has been sent. Okay, I don't think anybody's still alive, so will I ever get one? Okay, I already read this. Okay, let's get our happy asses out of this place and go to number five. Number five, motherfucker. Ha! Alright, so number five. Wait, did I get everything from here? Yes, I got everything from there. Let's get all. Oh, wait, let's go get uh, Mr. Boxman. Our companion cue! I'm gonna put this one here. I'm gonna put this one. No, that wouldn't work. Here. This one here. And this one here. Okay. You. Ah, oh, something's happening! Like, my whole screen just started shaking, and then people were dying, and then that companion cube showed up, and we were all fine. When the companion cube showed up, I knew everything would be just fine. Just fine, just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use a companion cube and a connector for this one. Worlds, and we within them are made of words. Oh shit, it's raining. Invisible to you, yet 
It's raining. Another person, so it shouldn't do anything, should it? No, no, it shouldn't. But if I were a robot, it would hurt a lot. The story gives meaning to your life. Uh, okay. L support, uh, L short for extended lifespan is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer. With its custom-made hardware, bomb-proof casing, and near inexhaustible hydro hydroelectric power supply, L, L represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. The brainchild of Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Arkady something, sorry, whoever's name that is. Links, links. Download press kit. Meet the team. Okay. I want to meet the team. Once a true, a true artificial intelligence has been created, the issue of citizenship is going to come up. If we acknowledge that the AI has all the abilities of a human brain, should it not be considered a citizen? Is it not, in the legal sense of the word, a person and thus a potential citizen? But where do you draw the line? Some people will object. Will the great apes become citizens? Elephants, whales, the more intelligent parrot species is crazy, they will say. I would remind these, those people that we live in a society in which a cooperation, a cor corporation as abstract as, as an uh, abstract entity, entity as one can imagine is considered a person. So it's not like there is no person, uh, I can't read today, for a non-human being, a person. At least an artificial intelligence, intelligence is an actual thinking being, not just a business arrangement. But perhaps we do, not, we do need to question the definition of personhood. Increasing amounts of evidence regarding the intelligence of elephants or the existence of culture among whales, for example, could be a sign that we need to answer something. Too much philosophy. You must, okay, more Athena stuff. Okay, here we go. You must consider these riddles. The Sphinx said, and tell me the riddle that I did not, did not reveal. The, the Sphinx smiled, the gears in her jaw creaking, her teeth a nightmare of rust, her left eye flickered, the nut, but none of its terror was diminished. The ruins were silent in the air. I think, she finally said, that the riddle you did not reveal is this. Why do these riddles exist in the first place? Why do these curious uh, automations, these mute children of Hephaestus, Behave as they do, forcing me to devise these intricate solutions. Each is a riddle, but the greater riddle is their purpose. The Sphinx did not answer. Her eye was lifeless now. Athena moved it from its socket, knowing that its power would aid her, yet feeling us also a deep sorrow at the passing of her fear of this fearful creature. Interesting. I wonder what I keep forgetting what, what this comes from. Okay, I get it. Huh. All right, we got some shit to do. Oh. The more I converse with these terminals, the more I wonder what role they play in the contraption. How do you tell friend from foe when no obvious lines are drawn between the two? Okay, let's go for this one first. Things to do with two boxes. No, I think I should start off like very basic. And that's usually the one right in front. Ooh, audio log. I school when I first read about the Talos principle. I think it disturbed me at the time, made me hyper aware of my body as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but I think in the long run, help me understand how frail human beings are and how precious. It's not a comforting way of thinking about the world, but I'd rather face the truth than lie to myself. 